Alright, so I know I haven't made any videos in like three or four days, something like that. People have been mentioning comments on my Instagram. Uh, so here's what's going on. Right now I'm waiting on a motorcycle to show up at my house. Basically I went online and I ordered a bike. Yep, that's about right. So I went on this website called Dash Hub. They offer uh, tons of motorcycles and cars and stuff like that. Some of them wrecked, some of them not, but most of them are like salvage titles or destruction titles. And I needed a new motorcycle for the build series that I'm going to be doing where I build a motorcycle frame. Basically, I was like, I could try to part out the wheels and the neck and the forks and the drivetrain and the motor, or I could just buy a wrecked bike that has all that stuff that looks good and still runs and drives and probably spend the same amount of money, so that's what I did. Anyway, went to dashhub.com, ordered a bike, it's on the way. Originally, this video was supposed to go up on... Saturday, Sunday, because that's they're supposed to deliver the bike Friday, but the truck broke down, and that's the real reason I haven't uploaded a video is because I didn't really have anything motorcycle related to upload, and I wanted to do another motorcycle video before I release the next couple of videos that I'm going to release. That way YouTube doesn't think that I'm skipping out on motorcycle stuff. Because it seems like that's the way YouTube works, is that if you don't explain something to someone, or if you don't upload the same content in like three or four videos in a row, they think that you're done with it, and it's, it's just how the internet is. So Jackson and I are waiting on the bike to show up, aren't we, bud? And Jackson's video's coming, hey, don't do that. And Jackson's video's coming soon, I promise. He's a good boy. You dick. Are you excited? Are you excited to see the new bike? You don't give a shit. You're like, feed me and pet me. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? His name's Jackson. But yeah, that's how this that's how this website works, is that you order and it ships straight to your door, which is really cool. Better than trying to go and pick up and organize shipping on a motorcycle, they just ship it. And this website does it all over the world too, which is really neat. If you're looking for a project, I suggest checking out Dash Up. If you think you heard that name before, it's probably because you saw Chase on Two Wheels video. He got his bike through Dash Up as well. You know, the one where he drilled through the gas tank and cost him a thousand dollars? Bitch. I'm just kidding, I love you, Chase. Oh yeah, other news. So everyone's wondering what's going on with the Harley Build series. So, everything's good. It's been getting powder coated for the past couple of weeks. But unfortunately, somehow during the powder coating process, the threads on the steering column got stripped. Apparently that's not something you can just re-tap. I've been through every shop in town. I've looked on the internet and I found a couple of taps, but I don't know the threading. I could order the tap and die for the neck for 50 bucks. Or I could just order a new neck for 50 bucks. And I figured, ah, well, let's try the new neck first before I start t breaking out the tap. So everything else on the bike is ready to go. It's ready to be put back together, minus the steering column. That should get here Tuesday. So once that shows up, I'll be able to put the whole bike back together. It'll look great, 10 out of 10. If you want a sneak preview as to what's going on with the bike, you can check out Instagram. My Instagram is D-I-W-D underscore official. Just follow me. You can see everything that's going on with the Harley. I try to keep that up to date, post two or three times a day. So yeah, I don't know what else to do, besides sit here and wait. I'm running low. I wish Budweiser would sponsor me. That'd be cool. It's a good way to wait. <clears throat> so if I plan this video correctly, this video should be the breakdown of the motorcycle that we're going to use for the build series. The one where I build the custom frame. I think a lot of people didn't take me seriously when I said I was going to build a motorcycle frame from the ground up, but I am. The wind keeps pushing open the door, it's not a ghost. Or it is, I don't know. Fucking ghost. Stop it! Oh, you know what? <clears throat> now that I'm thinking about it, I can show you guys what I've been working on. I've been using this program, SolidWorks, to kind of help design the bike. It kind of just shows me the bends and whatnot. So this is kind of the way the frame is, is going to look. I'm, I'm super not okay with frameworks. I'm, I'm still learning how to use this program. Basically all this was over here. So what I was going to do, I was just going to try to mirror this and then merge it. This is the, uh, the side tubes that go off the down tubes, obviously. But I was just going to try to mirror this and I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. I'm sure there's a lot of engineers that could tell me how to do it. But for the meantime, we'll hide that. I just did this to kind of give me an idea of what the frame's going to kind of look like. The rake is going to be about a 35 degree rake, which is pretty average for most bikes. I was thinking 45 degree, but I, I just want to be safe on my first build, so 35 degrees. Uh, we got like three major bends here. And then this is, there's going to be a bar that goes across. And then there's going to be a bar that goes across here just for structural rigidity. And then a bar that goes across here. And then another one here that just is where the wheel goes, the rear wheel. So just trying to figure out how to use this program. I used to use 3DS Max a lot when I was a kid. Back when I used to pirate stuff, I used 3DS Max a lot. So this program is kind of similar, um, except for the fact that it's, it's way less user friendly. So yeah, the tools come tomorrow. I'm going to make a full breakdown of how to use all the tools and what tools to use for the build series. 
and then I'm going to start hammering away at building the frame. It, it shouldn't take, I'm guessing, after playing around and practicing a little bit, it should take no longer than three weeks to, to build the whole frame. That's being pretty optimistic, but a lot of people who do this have regular jobs, and this is my job. I can do this all day long if I want. Realistically, if I was good, I could probably do the whole thing in a day, but I'm not good. I don't, but obviously, I'm, I'm not good. I've never done this before. And I think a lot of people don't take me seriously because they think I have no idea what I'm doing. And uh, they're not wrong. But that's the idea of this series, is for someone who doesn't really have any skills doing this, I've never bent tubing before. I've never really welded tubing before. Okay, actually I just got off the phone with the shipping company. Dash Hub and the shipping company are two different people. Dash Hub contracts these shipping companies, I think. Uh, just got off the word with the shipping company and the bike will be here tomorrow. So I'm just gonna call this an update video. Just a small update on the Harley build series and the other build series. I'll probably make another video tomorrow, just going more in depth, but this way it kind of settles your nerves. I'm not dead. I haven't been arrested. So yeah, sorry for the lack of content for the past couple days. It's just a small update. Um, the reveal will be coming very soon. I just haven't uploaded anything because I haven't had any like good content and I figure it's better to just not upload than it is to put out shitty content. It's better to not post than to shit post. So, I guess let's play a game. Put in the comments what you think the new bike is, and if you 100% know it, because I think I've said it in a stream or two before, um, what it is, but if you think you know what it is, comment below if you 100% know what it is. Don't say that you know what it is. Does that make sense? Anyway guys, see you tomorrow.